Well, good morning. I feel like I haven't made a video since last year. <laughs> Get it? It's July 1st, or January 1st today. <laughs> uh, we are with Wanderboom, and we are trying to figure out how to make this little disaster a very pretty thing to look at. Former so, disaster. What, so what are we thinking? I know we talked just a second ago, but what yeah. for the viewers, what are we thinking right now to make this accidental RV window which used to be a push-out window to make it nice and pretty. All right. Well, we're going to use a three-quarter sheet of plywood and cut it, custom cut it, so that it comes up right to where we need it here. And it'll be kind of a nice, clean cut for right around where the window is, so it'll be a lot easier to paint and trim and finish out and make it look pretty like uh, the rest of the bus is going to look. So. Awesome, awesome. And then let me show you guys what we're thinking. These little pieces here are three-quarter. Those are going to hide the windows like that, and we kind of scratched our head just a moment ago. We didn't really know what to do. We weren't sure if it was going to be quarter inch or three quarter inch, but we realized, oh wait, we're going to use this thickness, so why don't we use the same thing right there? Yeah. So, a bigger version. That's right. Good morning from the desert. Happy New Year, everybody! And uh, the bus is coming along rather quickly. So thanks again to all the guys for getting me out here. I told them no at first, but uh, I did get out here and took them up on their offer and this has been one of the most incredible Christmas gifts I've ever had is all this help here. So thank you to the whole team, the whole crew, to all my friends and uh, can't wait to get this thing back on the road. I just asked Eric a great question here. So he's using the um, skill saw, which has a little curvature to the circular blade. So once you get close to the edge here, I said, do you flip this thing over? And he replied. Nope, I just used my handy dandy Japanese saw. All right. Which is, uh, only works on the pole. You could use a jigsaw too, but this I get a lot nicer control with it. Well, if the shoe fits, wear it. Eric and his tools, that's a perfect name for this guy because he's got them, that's for sure. So this is what is going to frame out the passenger side window above the couch, previously known as the, uh, what was that, gold wing window. So we are just framing that out. And then I'll get on there and edge band it, put the wood on the side, and then uh, paint it, prime it, and, and then install it. Badge, I feel like I haven't seen you since last year. Oh, you see me lots. I just on everybody else's channel. That's all. <laughs> no, because it was New Year's. Now it's 2019. I, I haven't seen you since 2018. You know, I was thinking about that the other day. You know, and I was the people get a kick out of this one. I was thinking about that the other day, and all these people are going on about how many views they had and all that. And I added it up, and I'm just about up there with you. I think on that views. I think so too. And you know, everybody where I go, everybody says hi, and you look at them like. <laughs> Who the hell is that guy? I don't know, but there's a lot of people I know now, and uh, it's kind of funny because uh, Jax and Michael said that, you know, you're more famous than we are, and uh, yeah, it is true, you know, but it's kind of fun. For good reason, too. Yeah, for good reason. But anyway, here we are, we're back here, and uh, what as you, you probably know, we've taken over the bus, and uh, it's just, we're just doing the right thing. Yeah. That's all we're doing. We're just well, helping them out, getting it done and uh, get him back on the road and do the stuff that he does. All right, and so, fixing a bus is not one of them. So let's ask, let's ask the source. Did I ask you for help over after, oh, after Christmas, or did no. you call me and demand me to get okay, out here? this is how it went down. Me, Steve Punk, Steve, and, no and Neil were at the van build. And we seen Jax was all by himself, and Wonder Boom was helping him, and Steve would help him, and not... A lot of people were helping because everybody was so busy. And I also, I said, guys, don't help me because exactly. I said there's he other people who... never asked for one ounce of help, yeah. believe me. Actually, I said so, don't help me because I want people at the yeah. van build to get help yeah. who don't, aren't exactly. friends with That's everybody. That's exactly how it went down. So then after the van build, we seen that 
you know, Jack took off in the bus because he was uh, he wanted to break, and so me and Neil and Steve got together and we said, let's get him back down there because we've got three months to burn here. So let's get him back down to Ehrenberg and we'll finish the damn bus. So, of course, we I did it once. I sent him a message and said, okay, bring the bus to Ehrenberg and we'll finish. No, 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 I'll do it. <laughs> and I told Steve and... So Steve sent him a message. No, 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 I'll do it. No, and remember what he told and Steve. And then I... Neil sent a message. No, 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 I'll do it. <laughs> so in the meantime, me and uh, Al and Bob, our B.O.B., went back to Canada. And we're talking. I says, okay, this is it. This is the last straw. I get him on the phone because, you know me, I don't text anybody. I get him right on the phone and talk to him. And I said, okay, Jax, this is the deal. You bring the bus down to Ehrenberg. We got the Magnificent Seven, which you already know is Neil, Steve, me, uh, Dean, uh, Wonderboom, Eric, and uh, well, we got a couple others. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I says, we got a crew of seven guys that are going to jump in this bus. Now, you got to remember, you guys being the viewers, you don't watch all these channels. So what we got is we got seven of the best guys in the van business doing this. The only one that's not here is Michael, and I talked to Michael, and if he had the money, he'd be here in a heartbeat, because this is just, like, I got well over 300 hours into this thing, and Michael's got close to two, 300 hours into it, so when it just goes into a stall, you just have to get out of the rut, and get over, and get it done, and that's <laughs> what we're doing. Basically, that's what we're doing. Well, Neil... Didn't know Jack's from nothing, and he's here fixing it up. That is true. And, and Steve, he helped him in uh, in Denver and Wonder Room. He used to see these goddamn counters. Holy yeah, God. Yeah, I know. These are amazing. Yeah. But, well, I, um, I just want to say Boom's thanks. Wonder doing the wood, and it's just totally amazing. Like, And it's not charity by any means because we don't have to do this. And, you know, being an old miserable guy from Canada like I am, I don't have to do this. <laughs> and... It's just that we have to do it as a group to, you know, just, it's just something you have to do. And yeah. that's all this group is. This whole RV, Nomad, whatever you want to call it, that's the way they are. Yeah. And not one of these guys, when I mentioned it to him, when I was bringing up this idea, not one of them said one word against it. They yeah. all said yes. They well, I just, want, I just want to thank you and make sure everybody, all the uh, viewers know how much I appreciate you. Uh, Everything you've done for me, as well as Neil jumping in. I know, I didn't really know Neil. I've met him once before last year. Yeah, he, he's in here. Thing, he's like you didn't he's even know him, and he never even blinked an eye. Yeah, but even this... Wonder Room was way the hell over in California. I said, <laughs> okay, we're bringing uh, Jax's bus. We're hijacking his bus and bringing it back to Ehrenberg and finish it. Yep. Yep. Tell me when you want me there. <laughs> but hi, Jax. Hi. We're taking your bus. <laughs> <laughs> but this is guys. This is real life right here. This is the. This, these are the amazing people who just, you know, donated their time, uh, lending a hand, helping a fellow traveler get back on the road here. So uh, um, yep. I know some. I, I wanted to try and you know finish the rest of my own. I said, you know, what? I think I learned so much. I could probably pull this off. But you know what? It'll take you three days to figure out what we did. True. And then you know, say, oh, yeah, but uh, but also when, when when it 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 as nice as, as it is as it is to to give a gift. If you deny someone the opportunity to give a gift, you're doing them a disservice. So I just want to say thank you guys. And I realize the special gift that you guys had given me. So um, let, let, let me just say, this, this is repayment for me because when I first decided I was going to come out west and bring my little teardrop and come out here, there was a set of channels that I watched to see how they lived life, where they did, uh, where they went, what they did, and Jax was one of them. Jax was an inspiration for me. Exactly. To get out. If a guy from California that all he knows how to do is surf and pour drinks can get out of here and do this, <laughs> obviously I can. That's so this right. Is, this is repayment because I watched exactly. Jax in, in bus number one do lots of great things, and I got lots of great ideas from what he was doing. And uh, and this is so this is repayment to get Jax back on the road Doing what he does best, which is showing you guys great stuff. And Jax is Jax is not the DIY guy. Well, thank you. You know, but Jax shows shows great content when it's not constantly. This is the bus. 
<laughs> this is my screw going into some wood. <laughs> this is me repaying him for all the videos I watched me too. when I was sitting and couldn't walk on my legs and I had nothing better to do. I was living vicariously through what Jackson and other people out here were doing. That's why I'm helping, man. Well, thank you. That means a lot to me. I appreciate your kind words. And I even had freaking coffee yet this morning. <laughs> Let's Whoa, get the man baby. a coffee! Get coffee. <laughs> so anyways, this is just, I didn't know it was going to turn into to this kind of a video so far, but this is this is real life out here. This is how we all kind of ended up. This is how I showed up here. And uh, I'm, like I said, grateful to each and every one of these guys out here. It's an amazing bunch of people. And uh, I guarantee you, if you... Hey. Jump hey, out of the hamster hey, wheel hey. and, and, and One, get into this two, lifestyle. You'll meet three. people. Merry, Merry Christmas, <laughs> Jack! Thank you. Thank you. By the way, where's Steve? He needs to dress up like Santa. After that nice sappy heart-to-heart, -heart, we have this to deal with. I'm finally putting the speaker wires away, which means I kind of taped them up to those who don't have too much slack. I'm going to take this piece off, run the speaker wires around. These are for the deck speakers. And uh, that thing will be installed for the last time, kind of. I say kind of because the LEDs are going to go on that side and that side. And what I did is I ordered basically like an LED three light extension cord. So we'll just connect them, loosen this thing up, and just kind of jam them in there afterwards. I think that'll work. Um, and then I can finally get the front and back installed for the very last time. Eric is working on the wire chase, similar to what I did on the last bus. I think I showed you either earlier in this video or uh, in the previous video, but um, yeah, I'm going to give him a hand and clean up this whole thing and edge band it, paint it, prime it, all that fun stuff. And then for a lot of the people who were like, oh, you should have foamed in the wires and all this other stuff, well, this is why I didn't because I knew I was going to do this anyways, and it's easy access if you ever need to fix something or add something because um, that just hides in there. That'll be covered by a flat piece of wood, and then right here is where the LED lights will sit. And um, yeah, it's a pretty cool little system. Uh, like I said, did on my last one by myself with minimal building skills. But um, I think uh, I think this is a pretty good way to go. I don't know, Eric. What do you think about this system? I think it's really nice. Yeah, I mean, it gives you a, quite a bit of room to work with. You know, there's there's additional space if you need to run an extra wire or two in there. I mean, that's yep. quite a bit of quite a bit of room to work with. So. Yep. Yeah, you can fit almost like a 2x2 two two inside there. So. Yeah, and then again, having the piece stick up past and it creates a real nice for the light to sit up in there and mm -hmm. nice indirect lighting. So. Yep, yeah, because we weren't able to dim these. I maybe ordered the wrong ones. Uh, I'm not really sure. I thought I ordered dimmable lights, but um, but yeah, so I'll have a, a dimmable situation here. Okay, right. wires for I'll the battery. Hey, I'm just going to check in on uh, Steampunk Steve here. He's putting in a GFCI. As you can see, he's doing it the correct way. <laughs> testing it. Yep. Those are always fun, those wires. So, we have that. We have a on-off switch for the pump, just to water pump, just to make sure everything works. These knuckleheads are back here. Put it on the cover. Working on 12 volt. Nope. Let me show you what the uh, big knucklehead is working on. We got this back in here. Ran these wires. That's for the deck speakers. These are individual speakers here. I got the speakers finally out of the box. These are some Polk audio. I don't know if anybody wants a, um, I don't know, that's what it is right there. It seemed like a pretty good price, pretty decent speakers. And um, so I'm just gonna put these things in, positive, negative, positive, negative. It's really easy, even I can do it. This is what it looks like when you have a speaker installed. And uh, I'm pretty proud of myself because I've never done one of these things before. Well, I take that back. My last one, well, previous to the bus world, the bus life, I've never done this before. So I did one on the last bus, and then I did one on this bus. The, bu the previous bus is already wired, so this one took a little bit more, uh, I don't know, work, I guess we could say. Yes, may I help you, Santa? Done. <laughs> Shouldn't you be back at the North Pole? Shh. <laughs> on vacation. Santa vacations in the desert, by the way. Um, so anyways, we got all the uh, wires ran down here. Uh, we kind of taped up this side, me and Steve, and uh, that's uh, it's already looking a million times better. Uh, Eric came up with this genius uh, way to uh, secure, or actually ha have a, a nailer for the other piece of wood. I had some crazy ass idea where I was gonna go like this, and like this, and like that, that was, that was bad. So I'm glad to have some uh, 
professional help here. Water boom. You want to explain what you're doing quickly because uh, you could probably say it more eloquently than I could. Okay, well I'm basically whitewashing your the cedar panels that we're going to be putting up on the wall and on the uh, uh, various locations throughout the bus. Um, same material as you used on the ceiling, but uh, and same paint as the and cabinets. The same paint as the cabinets, but I basically watered it down, uh, basically one to one water to paint, okay. and mixed so it up real good. For those mathematicians, fifty percent water, fifty percent paint. Correct, Amundo, and uh, brushing it on there, and as it soaks in, um, as you can see, you can still see the the, the knots through it, and you can still kind of get the grain effects and everything, but it's uh, but it's similar color to the cabinetry and. Uh, but not totally you know, mm -hmm. painted over dark right. completely with paint. So Cool. All right, so we deviated a little bit from the original design. Things are evolving. The same thing will happen if you are building a bus or just in life in general. Um, so, you know, I mean, I could have done a carbon copy of Mike's bus. That's not really all that exciting to me to have an exact same thing. So we are deviating a little bit. We might even go dark on the ceiling to have that dark light, dark light, dark theme going on that's so popular. What's that, like shabby cheek or something? Yeah. Um, so shabby anyway. cheek. <laughs> so anyways, uh, that's what's going on here. Thank you for doing that. I was uh, uploading a video finally, doing what I should be doing. <laughs> and uh, me and Dean are gonna go back up on the roof and we're gonna play with some solar. We're gonna get that hooked up. I wanna tell you about what I have here. What do you have? This is Master Flame Class A Flame Retardant. But you can't put out anything this flaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve, where'd you get that shirt? Um, this crazy dude in Denver was like handing these things out to anybody who was around, <laughs> luckily. He only had one shirt and I was there. That's right. So for some of you guys who are like, oh, you should buy him dinner. You should buy him, you know, thank you. How do you thank him? I got him a shirt. I bought him dinner. And that's just my token of appreciation right there. I bought him dinner. He bought me dinner. I bought him dinner. It was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever hooked up, ever hooked up all of your plumbing except for the faucet? And you turn the water on to check for leaks. And all of a sudden you go, whoosh. No. I no. washed the inside of my bus today. <laughs> I had something interesting or funny to say, but these guys are interesting and funny enough, so... Um, I can't get so cold, I can't feel my toes! Neil, why are we bringing so many other people here on our camp? That, See what I'm saying? He's a good buddy of mine, he deserves to be here, and he also has carpentry skills. Oh my god. We have, an, we have yet another person showing up to, to help <laughs> finish the bus here. Um, I'm gonna go get a crimper and then I'll be back. Oh my god. The Squatterville sign is back, guys. That's with Squatterville, Canada. It's now Squatterville, Arizona. Oh.